channel. This is a new project that we're starting. Uh, as we're growing our family, we wanna be able to connect more with you guys. And through this whole quarantine process, I have found myself uh, turning to YouTube a whole lot and I found these um, videos of people like just clean with me's, cook with me's, get ready with me's kind of things. And um, I don't know, it made me feel like I was doing all the mundane things in life with someone else. So uh, that was really nice. And I thought that, you know, what better way to share our family with people who we care about than to kind of bring you guys along and, and let you kind of see the mundane and the whatever's, you know, whatever we happen to be doing that day. So um, today's video, we're going to share our nursery. We're very excited about it. Um, we're 24 weeks pregnant today and our plan was to have everything kind of like ready to go uh, by 30 weeks just in case anything crazy happened um, and we don't really know what to expect because it's our first kid so um, that was the plan and we're really ahead of schedule uh, so far so far so good <laughs> so uh, we're really excited to share with you and so this is the nursery tour. Enjoy! So here is the nursery. We just finished it. It's very exciting. I'll start in this corner because this is the part we were waiting on finishing. Uh, so this is our nursing table and our nursing area. I plan to breastfeed. We'll see how it goes. But um, regardless, the kid needs food, so he's going to be eating somewhere. And so he'll probably eat in my arms while I sit here. And this little table. Um, was a project that I worked on. So this was originally a wine table. Originally these, um, where these blankets are sitting, <laughs> it held wine and there were three uh, rows of those. And so I removed those, created a shelf for the bottom. Um, this was like this weird 80s like tiled thing. So I painted over the whole thing and Mod Podged this um, Star Wars blueprint wallpaper over the tiles um, and stained it to match the crib and the dresser. And then this little basket down here, all of the videos I've been watching were saying that when you're like nursing or um, I guess postpartum or whatever, you're like super thirsty, super hungry all the time and especially when you're breastfeeding. So since I plan to do that, I wanna make sure I stay hydrated, so, and fed. <laughs> so that is for uh, like snacks, water, whatever I might need um, when the time comes. This is a Facebook Marketplace find. Super excited about that. Um, and we, when we picked it up, I was like, can we clean the cushions? Because some of them are like dry clean only or whatever. And they said, well, we're not entirely sure. We've only ever spot cleaned it. So when we got it home, I took it all, all the cushions off and they had like little snaps on them. So I was like, well, there's no way that they would have designed it that way if it wasn't washable. <laughs> so I took it off, put it in the wash on cold and uh, air dried it and it's perfect. So very happy with this. And it's a glider. That was one of the things that was really um, important to me because the rocking motion was just, you know, you could pinch fingers underneath or whatever. So, pretty happy about that one. 
So this mobile is actually um, inspired, well, it's pretty much directly <laughs> derived from something that I found on Etsy. And I said, you know what, I could probably make that. And that was kind of my plan for everything in this room. I wanted it to be as DIY as possible um, because I felt like that would make, that would give it the perfect personality that we were looking for. You wouldn't be able to find these pieces anywhere else. It would really be um, specifically made with our family in mind. So that is why I wanted to do everything as secondhand or DIY as I could. Um, so, plus it's just fun to do projects and get ready. <laughs> so this little guy, uh, if you can't tell, we're big Star Wars fans if you couldn't tell by the intro. So this little Ewok is uh, front and center of this cute mobile. And I had a lot of fun making this. This was the first thing I made and it's just been hanging in the closet waiting for the crib to get done so we could put the mobile on it. But finally it's like the cherry on top, you know? And okay, I'm not gonna go any longer without talking about this mural. So this was one of the first things we did because we needed to paint the room before we did anything else. Um, and this was also inspired by a Pinterest post I found. Um, I really like living in the Northwest. I really like all the trees around here, but I also really like Star Wars. So I figured we could combine them by doing an Endor theme nursery. And so this is just the landscape of Endor. And so the way I did this was I projected an image with a projector and painted it by hand. And that is, that is that. Oh, and this cute little guy. <laughs> so this crib, was given to us uh, by a friend. Uh, it's 15 years old, I think is what she said. Uh, and she and her friend used it with two of their babies. It was originally white. Um, and so my husband and I stained, or we, well, first we sanded and that took forever because we were using the wrong sander. So right tools for the right equipment, guys. <laughs> but, um, or right tools for the job, excuse me. So we, uh, sanded everything, finally we got the right sander, and um, stained the slats first, painted everything the same green that we painted the table and the dresser, which you'll see in a second, and um, put it all together. And it is awesome. We are very excited about it. Okay, this is something I was very excited about. So we went to Ikea. Actually, it was my first trip to Ikea, if you can believe it. Um, and we picked up these bookshelves and um, put these like little cute little kitty books. I don't know if you've seen these kind of books before, but they're like little soft books. And for instance, like this one, they're crinkly. And so this one says Jungly Tales. And then you open it up and it's all the little, little tales of all the little jungle animals. So it's super cute. So anyway, these are, you know, the books that'll books, I guess they're books, why not? Um, that he'll be excited about for the first little bit, but we like this pop of yellow in here, just there's so much green that the pops of yellow just make it, I think a little brighter and more fun. So the idea is this is this little reading corner. Right now it's just gonna be, I don't know, storage for that. <laughs> but, so this is his, uh, going to be his reading corner and so we have the bookshelves there on the wall that are relatively short height so he can reach them. And then the Star Wars version of Once Upon a Time. <laughs> so this closet, um, that box we need to go through because that is some bottles that we received. Um, so we need to figure out what we're gonna do with those. But um, this closet has all of the clothes that we've received so far and I think he's set. Like, I don't know how many clothes a child needs, um, but that seems like a lot, so <laughs> I think we're okay. Uh, we got these hangers. I love these hangers. I actually, they're the little velvet ones. I'm gonna switch out our hangers for those eventually because I really like how low profile they are, but um, they came with, on Amazon, they came with these like little dividers so we know what sizes are what. Um, which is pretty fun. And then this, we also got on our trip to Ikea um, where I saw people using these in closets and I was like, that is brilliant. So I was very excited to pick that up. Uh, what was in here before was just this top shelf 
and this dowel which went all the way across so we just trimmed the dowel and used the factory edge on this to make sure that that was flat and then we just added a shelf here that we got at Lowe's and a dowel that we got at Lowe's uh, to, do, to do the dual hanging and I think this is definitely what I want to do in our closet now. So this rug is already being enjoyed by Roscoe Bear, who's this wee boy. Yes, waggy tail boy. Um, and this is one of those, I mean, childhood quintessential rugs. I can't even, okay, bye. Um, there's just nostalgia with this rug and we saw it at Ikea and I was like, okay, we're gonna get it. Also, the sheepskin rug, which is so soft. I originally wanted the white one, but oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got talked out of that because that would have shown so much dirt and grime already. It was really high pile, so it would have been really hard to vacuum. And um, this is just, fits our color scheme perfectly because we're doing green and gray and yellow. So here is the dresser. So this is the first piece of furniture that we finished. Um, I was really excited because I found these dresser knobs and I knew, on Etsy um, and I knew that I wanted to style a piece of furniture around them. So um, I got this dresser, sanded it down, uh, stained it, painted it, and um, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, when people like decoupage the inside, there's stuff in that drawer so I'll just open this one. Um, but I thought that was so fun. A little peek of something a little unexpected in there. And so I did that on all the drawers. Um, and then hardware to match, which is actually pretty hard because <laughs> this is antique brass. And if you've ever shopped online for anything that says it's brass, there's like 5,000 different colors and uh, finishes. So finally found some that matched and uh, were kind of, Industrial looking look like they could have come from the Star Wars franchise, so I'm pretty excited about that. So this is my favorite part of the nursery, I think. It is uh, directly across from the nursing station. And um, so I really love being able to look at these because these quotes are just, I don't know, they just, <laughs> they just hit me. Um, so patience, you must have my young Padawan. That's not actually a direct quote, I don't think, but um, it's similar to what Qui-Gon says in The Phantom Menace. Um, and it just, I mean, kids are always in a hurry to grow up, right? So just patience, you'll get there. And I like that it's on top. I put it on top so that, you know, it'd be like waiting to see the top of the refrigerator kind of status. <laughs> and then truly wonderful, the mind of a child is that one I love because Yoda said that in Attack of the Clones, um, when Obi-Wan couldn't figure out <laughs> a problem and he asked the younglings and... Un, unhindered by preconceived notions, they figured it out. And so that was really cool. And then of course, I am a Jedi like my father before me. And Luke said that, um, speaking of Vader, turning him back to the light side. And I love that. And I put this little guy, this little pillow, in this basket. And uh, I put some blankets in there with it. I made this guy with all of our colors like a little chevron blanket and then this one kind of a st the style that my grandma made me one a little similar to it um so all the soft things surrounding him with all the soft handmade lovey things okay and finally i realized i forgot <laughs> these are our travel posters so we might be on endor right now but who doesn't want to travel around the galaxy? So we've got all of the different locations, highlighted locations. Uh, Felucia, Coruscant, Bespin, Tatooine, um, Camino, Geonosis, Naboo, Hoth. And then over here we've got Kashyyyk and Dagobah. So we got these really cool prints from Etsy um, that we just had printed on 11 by 17s and hung them up as our as our fun travel posters and they're really exciting well thank you so much you guys for watching our first youtube channel video <laughs> i guess for our new youtube channel 
Uh, please do subscribe if you want to hang out with us anymore. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the exciting, <laughs> I don't know how many times I could have used that word this video. I don't know. Did anyone count? Uh, I hope to hear what you guys think of our nursery and I hope that you tune in to hang out with us more in the future. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.